Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give an example on rank correlation coefficient, which is different to the correlation coefficient. Okay, correlation coefficient is represented by small r, but rank correlation coefficient is represented by rho. Rho of x comma y are simply only rho. We have to find this one for the given data. See the statement. A random sample of seven college students is chosen okay from a college seven students are selected and uh, their marks in mathematics and statistics are given below this data represents the marks of seven students in both statistics and maths okay find the rank correlation coefficient between the both subjects okay see first of all i will give the formula for rank correlation coefficient The rank correlation coefficient between x and y is rho of x comma y is equal to 1 minus 6 into sum of di square by n into n square plus 1. Sorry, one small correction. Here in this formula, it is not positive. n into n square minus 1. Please correct it. Okay. So here, what is n? Number of given data points. In the problem, data is given for 7 students. So, number of observations is 7 which is represented by n okay and what is di di is equal to difference between the ranks nothing but rx minus r suffix y r suffix x minus r suffix y here what is rx ranks of x series ranks of x series in the statement we can take the marks of statistics as x and uh, marks of mathematics as y. So, ry is equal to ranks of y series, otherwise y values as you wish. Okay, so first of all, we have to find out the ranks of x series and ranks of y series. For that purpose, construct a table here. First, take x and y. Now, Rx, give the ranks for X marks and Ry, ranks of Y marks and uh, DA, DA is nothing but Rx minus Ry and finally, squaring the DA values, okay, so write the X values in order, 85, 60, 73, 40, 90, 94, 82. So, among these all 7 student marks, we are observing that 94 is the highest mark. It means that roll number 6, roll number 6 got highest mark in statistics. So, he got first rank. He got first rank. What is the next highest mark? 90. This is the second rank. <clears throat> After that, next highest mark. Please observe the marks carefully and give the ranks from top to bottom. Okay. 85 is the next highest mark, which is rank 3. After that, 82. This is the fourth rank mark. Next, 73 is the fifth rank. Next, 60. It is the sixth rank. 40 is the lowest mark. That's why he got least rank, which is 7. Since there are seven, seven students, you have to give seven ranks. Okay. Now, write the marks in mathematics. 
Now, give the ranks for Y series. What is the highest mark? 93 is the highest mark. So, give the first rank. Next, next highest mark is 91. Look at carefully. Okay. Next highest mark is after 91, 84. So, it would be 3. Next, it is 80. Fourth rank. Next, 75. It is fifth rank. It is sixth rank. It is seventh rank. Okay. So, according to the marks, we have to give the ranks. Okay. Generally, who got more marks? Who got top marks? He got first rank. Okay. Now, write the differences between ranks, which is represented by D. 3 minus 1, 2. 6 minus 5, 1. 5 minus 6, minus 1. 7 minus 7, 0. 2 minus 4, minus 2. 1 minus 2, minus 1. 4 minus 3, 1. Squaring the values. 2 square, 4, 1, 1. Negative 1 square means positive. 0. Minus 2 square, 4, 1, 1. Now, <coughs> find out summation of all values of di square. So, you will get sum of di square. 4 plus 1, 5, 6, 6, 6 plus 6, 12. Now, replace this sum of di square in this formula. So, 1 implies rank of xy is equal to 1 minus 6 into sum of di square dot as 12. So, you will get 6 times of 12 by n is nothing but 7, 7 into 7 square, 49 minus 1. So, 1 minus 6 twelves are 72 by 7 times of 48. See. Okay. 1 minus this one, 72 division 7 times of 48. I got 0 0.7857. Okay. In this way, we can find out the rank correlation coefficient between the two variables. Okay. So, here also rank correlation coefficient range is minus 1 to plus 1. So, rank correlation coefficient is also should lies between minus 1 plus 1. Don't forget it in our examinations. In the next video, I will give some more examples on rank correlation coefficient. Thank you very much.